Now let's look at the file and media web part with an Excel spreadsheet in it. So I'll go ahead and add one here. You can even just type Excel and it knows that that's the file and media web part that you're using. So uh, I can choose uh, any spreadsheets that I might already have on my site. But in this case, I'm just going to upload one and I'll go ahead and click add file. And now my file is in SharePoint and I'm looking at it in the web part. I can completely interact with it here. So here we have the ability to look at the entire workbook or a specific chart, table, or range. So if I choose chart, all I have to do is type the name of my chart. Same goes for table, I just type the name of it. Let's try out a couple of those options. So we have 10, that's called sales data. So if I do that, if I just choose table and sales data, then click apply. And now um, when people wanna have this spreadsheet on the page, you're just only looking at the sales data. And you also have the ability to, I can choose to show the grid lines and also allow sorting and filtering. So if I don't want people to be able to sort and filter directly in the spreadsheet, I can uncheck this box.